here for your health. A cigarette is the only consumer product when used as directed kills the consumer. Cigarette use is the leading preventable cause of disability, disease, and death. This jar represents a year's worth of tar that would be left in the lungs of a smoker. Nicotine is the addictive substance in tobacco. When you inhale on a cigarette, it travels through the lungs and to the brain and attaches to the brain. Nicotine is one of the most addictive drugs and is seen as addictive as cocaine and heroin. When a breath of air is taken by the lungs, you can see how well they fill up and how long they hold the air. Adding a breath of air into these lungs, you can see how only one side inflates and the other side is left stiff. That's due to the amount of tar that's left in the lungs. Nicotine is only one of more than 4,000 chemicals found in a cigarette. 50 of those chemicals are known to cause cancer. Such chemicals could include battery acid, wax, insecticide, toilet bowl cleaner, paint thinner, and the list could go on. This jar represents the amount of phlegm that a smoker would cough up in just two weeks. You can see the benefits of quitting smoking within hours of your last cigarette. Within 20 minutes, your blood pressure drops and your pulse rate returns to normal. After eight hours, the carbon monoxide level in your blood drops. Within 24 hours, your chance of having a heart attack decreases. After 48 hours, your ability to smell and taste improves. After 72 hours, lung capacity increases. Two weeks to three months later, your circulation improves. One to nine months later, coughing, sinus congestion, fatigue, shortness of breath may decrease. One year later, just 12 months down the road, you've cut your risk of heart disease in half. When someone's ready to quit smoking, they can make changes to their house and car. This could include eliminating all ashtrays and lighters from the home or car, finding an outdoor place to smoke, and adding stickers to your front door or to your car to let friends and family know that you are now smoke free. Help is available if you want to quit smoking. Smokers Helpline can be contacted for one-on-one -on -one support. You will speak with a specialist through telephone, internet, or texting. You could also call your local health unit for more information on what resources are available in the community.